viewers today we are going to study about the dual nature of radiation and matter now photoelectric effect the phenomena of emission of electrons from the metallic surface when radiations of suitable frequency fall on it is called photoelectric effect and the electrons which are emitted are called photoelectrons now the key points which will be covered today are first experimental study of photoelectric effect then effect of intensity of light on photoelectric current after that effect of potential on photoelectric current then effect of frequency of incident radiation on stopping potential so to start with experimental study of photoelectric effect i have drawn the figure just to save the time now you can see that it consists of an evacuated glass tube it consists of a photosensitive plate c you can see here this is called emitter plate and a metallic glass plate a which is you can see here the collector plate a is the collector plate and c is the emitter plate now this one a transparent quartz window is sealed onto the glass tube which permits the ultraviolet radiation to pass through it and it irradiates this photosensitive plate so that the electrons are emitted from this plate the photosensitive plate that is the emitter plate so as the ultraviolet rays strike the plate over here the electrons are emitted now you can see from the figure that plate a is connected to the positive terminal so the electrons are attracted towards a now a potential difference is set over here this is positive this is negative so potential difference is set and if the potential difference is established over here a photoelectric current is established over there this potential difference is measured by the voltmeter here and the photoelectric current is measured by micro emitter over here now for a fixed frequency of incident radiation and accelerating potential the photoelectric current increases linearly with the increase in intensity of incident radiation we can see from this graph that means number of photoelectrons emitted per second is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation now for a fixed frequency and intensity of incident light photoelectric current increases with increase in potential applied to the collector you can see in this graph as the collector plate potential voltage increases the current also increases if it is 10 current increases 1 ampere 20 volts 2 amperes 30 volts 3 amperes then after further increase in collector plate potential the current saturates that means the current becomes constant over here that means the collector plate potential voltage now after further increasing also the current does not increases why because the metal plate emitter now it is not able to emit so it does not has the capacity to emit further electrons it has saturated now on giving negative potential what happens like minus 60 then current starts decreasing 2 amperes minus 50 1.5 minus 40 1 then minus 30 0 so at a certain negative potential the current becomes zero and the potential the negative potential or the retarding potential where the current become zero 
is called the stopping potential or the cut off potential this is very very important for the numerical sort sum now the energy of the electrons at the stopping potential is maximum and what is that energy w equals to e v not v not is the retarding potential or stopping potential this is equal to half mv square max this is the kinetic energy ke max of the electrons which are emitted now in this graph the value of stopping potential is different for radiation of different frequencies here we have taken two frequencies nu1 and nu2 where nu2 is greater than nu1 we can see here from this graph that saturation current is same for both the two frequencies but retarding potential is different so here i have summarized that the value of stopping potential is different for radiation of different frequencies but the value of saturation current for the given intensity remains constant you can see for both nu1 and nu2 saturation current remains constant second the value of stopping potential is more negative for instant intensity of radiation of higher frequency you can see here nu2 is greater than nu1 so retarding potential is higher in the case of nu2 third point the value of saturation current depends only on the intensity of radiation but it is independent of the frequency of the incident radiation now in this graph v not that is stopping potential varies linearly with the frequency of incident radiation we have taken here two metals a and b and drawn two graph for each of the case now there exists a certain minimum cut off frequency nu not for which the stopping potential v not is zero that is stopping potential or threshold frequency becomes zero and this frequency nu not is called the threshold frequency now below this threshold frequency photoelectric emission will not take place and above this threshold frequency photoelectric emission takes place spontaneously i hope this whole thing is very very much clear to you all in the next class we will continue this chapter